those storms are gone. But the island we stranded on is far from peaceful. The pirate Captain Peg is nowhere to be found, save by his bride during our battle. But we took his ship, the Veil. Vale. It somehow managed to weather the storm undamaged. The grit, well, it wasn't so lucky. Sarah's grit was said to be unsinkable. Now it lies in ruins on the rocky shoreline. The magic that gave it its power, lost the opening of some chest. We lost three of our new dwarven friends. Five of my halfling kin. And worst, one of our youngins in the storm. Even though Peg's ship, the Veil, survived, it makes the crew unsettled. It's been a symbol of evil for so long. We all made the decision to tear it down and use the parts to rebuild the grid. While the surviving halflings and dwarves began rebuilding, the crew and I faced hostility found inland. Woven. Brought a cruel group of water elves that have control of this island. We didn't exactly get a warm welcome when we arrived, see? I almost lost a hand to one of those totes. During the deconstruction of the grit, Captain Cold has downright refused to leave his ship, choosing to stay aboard while the work goes on around him. He and Lindell, the first or second mate, depending on who you ask, they aren't able to do much but rest and heal from the injuries they received from Balrin. Uh, I mean, from the storm, but Balrin just, you know, was Balrin when he was tending to him. Yeah, let's just say Lindell will be lucky if he ever walks straight again. Yeah, right. Fortunately, it wasn't much cargo on the grit when we lost her. Emptying her out hasn't been too bad, really. Besides tearing down and rebuilding the grit, we've all been pretty busy building up walls to protect us from the sea, as well as building us a oh, rightly nice little village. Though the name is still in discussion, I, I don't think I need a town named after me yet. I mean, I ain't done nothing yet to get me a town. Besides, who wants to stay here once we get the ship built anyway? But, we have seating for 61 at our little banquet table, which is just enough to get us all eaten together during meals. The village is not safe, though. Not until all the Walven have been dealt with. Their slave operation has been destroyed for now, but I feel we may be in line for some retaliation. We might have just kicked a hornet's nest, really, we don't know. But for me, well, my time has been spent here on the shore. My people have convinced me that I am just as important helping with the rebuilding as I could ever be with me sword. Thankfully, though, we found some new friends along the way. A couple of big elves, too. But we still have a lot of work to do. With the Walven slaves just now joining us, I think we have a hundred members in our little band. So many people to protect and care for, we, we've got a change of ways. Have a more peaceful occupation if we want to survive.
We, the crew of Sarah's Grit, want nothing more than to get off this foul island and return back to Tristale. My fear, though, is that the journey will likely take us back into... Everstorm. <laughs>